Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, kindly hit the subscribe button down below to join us. And if you're a returning subscriber, make sure, make sure. Sorry, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content. I appreciate the love so, 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 so much. So guys, in today's video, I usually get this question like on a daily basis, someone coming to me and telling me, Debbie, I'm gonna do 100k, I'm gonna 50k, I'm gonna 20k, but I don't know what business to start. And I feel like it's really, I can take it two ways. Either you want me to tell you which business to start, and if you fail, utasema ni mindo ni kwambia, ama like... You, you don't want to do the research, you don't want to do what it takes to know which kind of business you want to start because women don't have to do it, so you should know what kind of business to start. Si enye mtu mingine ya meanzisha, si enye debi ya meanzisha, si enye mtu mingine ya nasucceed na yo, si enye mtu mingine ya fail. It's something that should come from you. So I decided let me do this video and share uh, a few pointers yani how to know which business you should start say you feel uko stuck i'm like i'm really stuck i don't know which business to start i have the money i have the capital i'm like i have all these ideas and i'm kind of confused uh, make sure unaangalia vitu a few of the things that i'm going to tell you make sure umeziangalia maybe you're going to um so maybe okay, if you consider the things that I'm going to tell you, maybe you will get that one business that works for you. And doesn't mean that if you fail, at you, there is something that you did wrong, unless there is something that you did wrong. But you know, Beshara si lazima ati every time, ita nini, ita peak, sa zingine ita kwa ime fail, sa zingine ita kwa ime succeed, sa zingine you will know when to stop doing that business, you will know when that business is not working for you. So, how to know which business you should start? The first thing I feel like, find something that you love. Like, have passion for something. Ndiyo ile time biashara kime umana, you still don't, um, utaku unaji, piganisha, yani, yani will not be uh, fighting within yourself. And unasema ata spendi hii kazi na ata yendi vizuri, you know. But sa zingine, let me give an example of myself. Mimi senye. I'm doing something ama nimeajiriwa and place sipendi. I'm usually in a very bad mood. Na I would not like to have my thing, yani my business ikwendo in any stress bado. I would like like ile time biashara yende vibaya inaenda vibaya. I can look at it and say lakini at least I'm doing something that I love and at least I know that see every time biashara inakwanga mbaya. But when you're doing something that you don't love, yani una passion for this thing, you will always find a reason to could jam am my reason to give up on uh, uh, give up on that thing so make sure umetafuta kitu at least yenye you can look uh, back at it senye vitu aziendi vizuri and be like at least i'm doing something that i love cuz mimi i know i have uh, this love for especially second hand clothes so hata hizi mangu mpya si sana sana kwangu but mimi napenda vitu za mtumba sana that's why i know i um, have not been restocking on mtumba clothes but i still know that i'm going to do it because it's something that i love whether ni za watoto ama ni za watu wazima i know i'm still going to come back to that i'm still going to restock on that nikipata tu pesa kidogo hivi i know i know and you will see guys ni lazima nitaenda kutafuta hizo nguo za mtumba because i really love to sell yani napenda kwenda kwa soko ku thrift i like to shop but i feel like Many ladies like to shop. Many ladies wana penda kushop. Uh, so I feel like it's an added advantage because na penda kushop, but the things I'm shopping, it's something that I can resell. So pesa yangu itarudi na itakam even with a bigger, maybe a, a profit, you know. Another thing that you should look at is what are you good at. Uwezi sema utako na uza, na wewe ni ule mtu watu wa customer kikuja, you don't want to talk. Maybe when you're introvert, you can't even talk to anyone. You can't say that I want to sell, to be selling. Wewe ni mwana ume, lakini I want to be selling uh, manguoza ladies. But hata mwana mki ya kiingia, tu hata kumuangalia uwezi muangalia. Make sure at least ukona izo, izo you have that, uh, ukona roho ya kuuzia mtu. Like you can be able to sell to them. If you are doing the nails, at least have 
ANS inatakanga like mtu anaweza sikiza because people will come here and they will feel like ni wamekuja therapy they will want to give you all these stories make sure like una prioritize kazi yako unasikiza you don't really have to take everything to heart lakini unakuwa mtu anasikiza unaacha naongea because it's like an outlet for them and wewe uko kazi yako make sure unaendelea na kazi yako so look at something that Uh, you are good at usiseme oh nitakuwa nauza um, manguo and yet hata mtaki kuangalia ah yeah, yeah the way you dress you can't even dress someone hata uwezi jua size ya mtoto wa 5 years inatoshana aje unajua mimi sasa hii kiangalia tu mtu i don't really need kukwambia ti oji pime in and tazua like mtoto ni wa 5 years anafaa kuvaa anafaa kuvaa kitu kaa hii anafaa kuvaa kama unasema unavanga size 28 i'll tell you that's a lie mimi body shape hata ninaangalianga tu mtu hivi na macho sitashinda nikikwambia ati wewe oji pime ama anything make sure that unachukua kitu yenye you good at mimi nikienda kujibaia nguo ni ngumu sana niniwe kitu yenye ita nitoshea cause naweza iangalia tu kwa macho na niseme this thing is going to itanitoshea because i feel like i'm good at that i i feel like i'm good at also selling cause ndo akikuja sikatai kuna zile times zenye ai sasa nyingine una feel ah hata sina mood hata sitaki kuongea na watu you know those days but i feel like i have the marketing skills i can market my things i can market myself i can market my business i have the sales skills so i can sell something and i have not really uh, gotten those complaints zile ah mimi nilikuja kwa shop yako nikaona hata unataka kuniuzia unless like nione mtu ako na as the other uh, ulterior motives like a man maybe anataka kukatia and you're not into it and you already have someone you know naweza ku shut down kidogo but if it comes to like unataka kununua kitu si ile tu unataka kunikatia na hakuna kitu nanunua that one i know like i can sell that thing to you another thing that you should uh, consider is geographical location of the business that you want to start uwezi sema now i'll be selling um let's say what jackets alafu maybe unaenda kufungua wapi shop uko Mombasa uko ndani ama tuseme unaenda place kama yenye iko na baridi alafu the things you want to sell to those thi- to those people ni vitu zenye hawezi ununua cause kwao kuna baridi wewe kuna vile uta expect mtu unawauzia tu vitu vests at least walete kitu iko na sleeves at least walete kama ni place kama Mombasa leta kitu light unaangalia geographical location yenye uko pia cause eh, the location will also determine like your target market unaangalia eh hey, target market yangu ama like market wase wenye wako huku around where i want to put my shop ama where i want to uh, establish my uh, business angalia unaona ni young people there's no way utaanza kuletea um, our young people diapers cause wengi wako shule waletee vitu zenye wanazatumia shule waletee bags za shule waletee uh, manguo you know luku uh, kama ni boots yani vitu zenye zinaweza fanya like wakivaa wanaweza ah, as in vitu zenye wanaweza tumia wakienda hizo shule uwezi waletea na pia uwezi leta um, manguo za watoto ama like the young generation za young generation huku kwa huku ndani ndani kwenye ni parents like older people that wenye wako huko so una make sure pia una you think about the the geographical location yenye huko alafu naangalia unaona eh sasa yes i want to bring shoes But do people really need shoes here? Can people pay for to buy shoes? Maybe I want to teach um maybe nataka kuwa nafunza watoto. Lakini ah watu wako willing kunilipa ni wafunzie watoto yet wanapeleka watoto wao shule like unajiuliza maswali maswali ka hizo like are these people willing to pay me so that I can do whatever it is that I want to do like whatever business I want to set up to set up si lazima ati just because you're good at something and you love it inamaanisha like it's something that can fetch you um, a bit of some money unajua hata hii kuanzisha tu YouTube unaangalia unaona eh hey, yes I want to kuanzisha hii YouTube lakini plus niko yes napenda hizi vitu lakini plus niko hata internet ni shida kupata like unaangalia vitu ka hizo and don't be lazy like do the research when i talk about research like research 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 and never research like never stop researching kwa sababu every time una learn something new every time there's no way utaenda ku learn kitu u lose vitu zingine yes you can unlearn like the bad habits and the bad spending habits vitu ka hizo you can unlearn them when you're doing your research like kuna ngali unaona eh kuna mwana biashara hapa alianzisha biashara yake like two years ago sasa hii ashafunga learn from that mjiulize huu mtu kwa nini alifunga ama hata ndio muulize by the way ulikuwa na hii biashara uliza hata bishte yako ulikuwa na hii biashara why did you stop 
um, doing this kind of business uh, what are some of the challenges ulikuwa una face what are some of the mistakes that ulijini ni like unaenda hata youtube like ukiingia place ka hii youtube ukikuja kwa videos zangu you're going to also learn something ukienda kwa videos za mtu mwingine have even given you like some of the uh, youtubers wenye unaweza kupea hata inspiration like wanakuonyesha mashimo za kwenda ku get all this stuff that you want to be reselling and all this stuff that you can use to start a business so unaenda kwa channels kama hizo alafu unaangalia unaona eh hey, um say by the way anaweza kuwa ananisaidia so you learn from them and guys with that being said let me encourage you like take that first step that you need to start that business usikuwa usikae tu na goja at the right time there is no right time the right time to start is now at yesterday like anzisha saa hii like take that first step and with prayer and persistent uh, persistency you're going to make it like at you fail this time round there's something else that you can do like una make sure from any failure that you get you're learning something isikwange tu ni failure alafu you're giving up ama ni failure alafu una feel ni kama you can't do anything else just make sure una learn from any uh, mistake that you make make sure you're learning from our mistakes also mistakes that watu wengine una make sure una learn from them with that being said guys i think this is the end of this video i know it's not long but I have been wanting to uh, kuzileta tu back to back to back and also if there is any other video, video idea that you would like me to do na yet hapo in the comment section and I'll see in it a research nione if it's something that I can do I can do I will do it if it's something that I can't do I will also tell you that mimi I don't have the knowledge but I know I can research hakuna kitu siwezi pata online kuna kitu siwezi uh, siwezi pata even if I look around nitapata like the answers to all your questions na pia wewe ukiangalia around you're going to find all the answers to your questions see you in my next one bye these days i don't really care for that in the conversation no no these days i don't care for competition you don't want this racing